Hi, I'm Matt. Arga has asked me to present the following information to help ensure the delivery of your Arga cooker can be completed successfully on the scheduled date by following this simple pre-installation information. This setup guide is designed to present you with an overview of the essential requirements for your new Arga cooker. For full details, it is highly recommended that you refer to your installation guide available on the Arga website. Before we can site and connect your new Arga, we first need to get it into the property. This is the type of vehicle that we will be using to deliver your Arga. It is similar in size to the recycling vehicles that we see in our communities, so if that vehicle has no problem in getting to your property, then we shouldn't have an issue. Please bear in mind that we also have to unload the vehicle and transport your Arga to your property, so we will need to get reasonably near. If you have any concerns about access for our vehicle, please contact your local Arga store, preferably with photographs or a video of your access, and they will be happy to advise further. Once we have unloaded your Arga from the delivery vehicle, we then need to get it into your property. Most always have a step, and we are used to that, but if you have more than a couple of steps, any tight turns, or a steep gradient to your property, then please contact your local Arga store as we may need further information from you. Your Arga will be around 635 millimeters deep and depending on model, either 900 or 1100 millimeters long. We need to get through your door and to the final location for where your Arga will be positioned. We can make it around turns on the way, but only if there is sufficient room for the Arga to fit through. When we are positioning and connecting your Arga, our team will need room to work. Please consider any obstacles in the way, such as kitchen islands. So, now we have ensured that your Arga Master Chef can be successfully delivered into your property, we need to ensure that the final position is ready for the placement and connection of your cooker. Check 1. The floor. The cooker must sit on a floor that is flat and level and capable of supporting the cooker's weight. Where possible, the cooker should sit on the finished flooring. However, if this is not possible, the floor must be levelled and raised to sit at the height of the finished flooring to provide access for maintenance in the future. Check 2. The rear wall. The rear wall should be clear of any obstructions, such as pipes or cables. Any services will need to either be rerouted or buried into the wall behind and covered over, leaving a clear wall surface. Check 3. Clearances and final position. On the day of delivery, the team will need to know precisely where to site your cooker. Where the wall above the cooker will have a different finish to the surface behind, Ensure the cooker is placed far enough forward to allow that work to be completed, such as a splashback or tiles. For example, with this cooker, we will be fitting tiles above following its final connection and therefore need to leave a suitable gap. Where cookers are fitted against side walls, 130mm clearance is required on the right and left hand side to allow the doors to open and for trays to be removed. A minimum 5mm clearance either side of the cooker is required to allow for the cooker top to be removed should it be required in the future for any maintenance work. If your new Arga is to be sited in a space previously occupied by an Arga, it is important to remeasure the space to ensure the 5mm either side is available. Above the Arga, there must be a gap of at least 650mm for induction or 800mm for gas hob. If you are installing a cooker extractor hood, we highly recommend that you refer to your installation guide, as the clearances above your Arga MasterChef may vary depending on the model of extractor you have chosen. 